Now I know you've probably seen tiny little quail eggs, great big quail eggs, pure white quail eggs, spotted quail eggs, all kinds of different eggs, right? But have you ever seen a green quail egg? That's what I'm going to show you in today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to go about it. And today I've got something pretty cool to show you. These are blue-green quail eggs. Take a look at those. Very cool. Hopefully the camera will focus on them. But that is the color of these eggs, blue-green quail eggs. These are known as celadon eggs. And this is a recessive gene that some quail carry. Let me set these down so I don't break them. Um, because it's a recessive gene, any hens that hatch out of these eggs only have about a 40% chance of laying celadon eggs uh, themselves. And if you were to uh, want to uh, breed these back to, to a, a rooster to get more hens that lay celadon eggs. You'd have to make sure that you breed them back to a rooster that also carries that celadon gene. And again, those hens would only have about 40% chance of laying those celadon eggs themselves. Now, if you were to take one of these hens that lays these eggs and breed it back to a standard rooster, that hen's still going to produce celadon eggs, but the eggs, that, the hens that hatch out of those eggs will not produce celadon eggs because that rooster did not carry that trait, that celadon gene. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. It's a little bit rare and it's really hard to make sure that you get um, you know, a good breeding stock of celadon egg layers. Uh, these are not eggs from my hens. These are eggs that I got in in a shipment of eggs and I'll talk about that a little bit in a future video. But hopefully um, they're, they're, I get some hatched out of that. I get some celadon egg layers and uh, maybe I'll get some kind of consistent results out of that going forward. I'm um, not counting on it because again it's incredibly hard to do, very rare, and there's only a slight chance that those uh, hens that hatch out of those are really going to lay uh, celadon eggs going forward. So just something cool I thought I'd share with you guys. It's something that's kind of trending lately. You're seeing a lot of and I thought I'd share it with my viewers. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have questions about it, if there's something that you need answered. And as always, God bless. 